Good morning, sports fans. It's seven in the morning. Making myself some eggs. Just making myself some coffee. And it's Kali and maybe Sammy's day. So just getting ready. Had a good practice day yesterday. I don't know why my camera is working up. Sorry for that. But uh, yeah, yesterday was good. Um, I'm enjoying riding my bike. And uh, we'll see what happens today. But weather should be nice, so I'm keen. So, after like 45 minutes of waiting and a whole lot of queuing, we finally up to the last gondola to go up to for some practice runs. Wait is all time. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Ready to ride, Ready. hopefully, <laughs> in 20 minutes when we made the second lift. Exactly. Hopefully we won't fall asleep in the meantime on the probably the slowest lift in history. But... Vibes are high, tracks are dry, and uh, we are keen, so yes. see how it goes. Brooklyn are always at the top. Yeah. Merci. Yes, Nico. Okay? It's okay, no problem. <laughs>
En de middenlijn daar ga ik die bank en dan naar binnen afkappen. Ja, yeah, boy. Ja. Oh. George. Oh. He pulled the gas. Yeah, he pulled the I gas. did it too. That's why well, I didn't yeah. lean it. s'arrête comme ça et je pense même qu'on va passer encore un cap fiscal. So, practice just wrapped up. Just getting ready now for the quali run. Bike is in mint condition. Been testing a bit with Erlens. I went to a bit of a harder spring, so I'm a 502 spring right now. And then we 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 did some retuning on the fork as well. Um, after Val di Sol, and it's way way better now. I can attack so much more. So I'm super happy with that. Um, and now we're getting just ready to get going for quali run. We have like two hours or something. Um, Nico is basically just starting behind me, probably like 10, 15 minutes. Um, so yeah, we'll see how it goes. It's feeling pretty good. I went a bit wild on this run, but I felt like I was still kind of in control. So that was positive. So we see what happens. Big refuels now and uh, then we go out for the race run so yeah i'm keen i'm keen to get going hopefully i'll make the finish time this time i'm just gonna see how it goes push it and whatever happens happens i don't have any pressure on myself so just gonna go out there and have fun and just ride like i always do in enduros and uh maybe a bit faster maybe a bit more on the limit but all, other than that should be good so i'm stoked and uh bike is running all good so just getting ready so I guess uh, next slide is probably gonna be me warming up or me after the race or the quality run let's say so yes we see 
So here we are then after my quali and my semi run back to the van. Um, didn't really film anything in between or like after the quality run basically because um, we were very busy with getting ready for the semis. Um, just getting, uh, just got a shower so I'm cleaning this up real quick. But um, 46th in the, in the qualities. So I was super stoked with that. My goal was of course to qualify but to get in with quite a margin of room, let's say. Um, I'm super stoked with that, and especially coming from Enduro straight back to downhill. Um, that was definitely, uh, definitely not easy, let's say, but it's showing that Enduro definitely made me faster or let me learn new things. So um, yeah, I'm, Super stoked with how I rode. I felt like I had a good run. Um, paced myself pretty well. Didn't get tired at the end of the run either. So I was like attacking from top to bottom, which was good. Um, definitely was needed for for the track because um, if you just slack a little bit on on the track here, it's uh, yeah you lose a lot of time. So yeah, all in all, like super good. Um, Made a couple of mistakes here and there in the quality run, but other than that, it was, it was good. I was in with like two seconds or one and a half, no, two seconds room. So, super stoked on that. Um, Greg Minna actually started behind me in the semis, like, so I was literally on his pace. So, to come back from Enduro to downhill, and only my first actual downhill race as well this year. Because Valdi saw, of course, I raced, but I didn't make the finish. I didn't really know where I was at. Even though I felt super good, I didn't know where I was at. Um, so it was nice to see that my result finally shows in the way I've been feeling um, on the downhill bike. So, yeah, super happy with the medium frame. And, um, um, yeah, just all now super happy with how I rode. I felt like I rode control and... I'm much fitter than I was last year, the last time I really raced downhill and it got way more like like I got proper technique now, now I would say and I did some testing with Erlins or like some tuning with Erlins and they helped me a bit with the setup here so like all those little pieces just helped me get better and better and then yeah for the final or like the semi-finals run I couldn't really get into the mindset to completely attack after basically achieving what I wanted to get just in the semi-finals. So I tried to push at the top, it was good and then halfway down I started making some mistakes and then one mistake led into the other and then it was a bit meh meh let's say at the end. And then I tried to push and regroup again but with downhill if you make a couple of mistakes like that you just lose too much let's say. But Super stoked still. I was 57 in the semis. Still close to like factory riders. Um, so that's good, especially coming just from Enduro back to downhill. So yeah, super stoked. Um, sun was out all day. Big shout out to all the guys who support me. So especially like Montserrat, Finn from Reverse was with me all weekend showing some lines and stuff of course Schwabi for hooking me up with all the grip and then all of the six sponsors that helped me out funding the racing season plus rides nows and um, yeah all of those guys thanks a lot for all of the help and feels like the ball starting to roll for me again this season and things like slowly start to get better and better so super stoked with that pit setup was quite nice as well um a bit away from the race venue but we got the moped so my dad could pull me towards the the like the the race venue let's say and Finn pulled me for the for the uh, quality run today so that was nice so all in all super good day um, super stoked with how I ride and um, I think we'll just need to uh, keep the ball rolling for for the next next races 
I'm going to Switzerland next week. So big rest up now because I've been racing quite a lot in the last uh, five weeks. Been doing both downhill and enduro, so that's quite physical um, and especially mental. It's it's a bit hard to make that switch every time. But yeah, happy days. Super stoked to get back into the final or, or the semi-finals. And um, thanks for sticking to the end of the video and hopefully you guys enjoyed a bit behind the scenes of how it went. And yeah, thanks for watching and we see each other in uh, Switzerland for the Enduro World Cup. So cheers again and thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Yo, yo.